Let's move on to my fave, Brian Kavanaugh. We know him. We Beta. love him. So he posted the long-awaited. Let me actually. You know what, Dan? I got to do this before we get into this. Let me just show you my favorite parts of his weird conspiracy interview. Okay. Here is Ryan telling an anecdote about how someone from the Mossad was stalking him. Oh yeah, this, this is this is great. I, I I think the context is during the bankruptcy with Relativity. Yeah, he's explaining how there was a vast Hollywood conspiracy to silence him. Yeah, and and the Israelis were involved. Oh, then I think the context is even he hired this guy to go out to try to find out the real identity of the Wikipedia mods. You caught that, right? All right? Maybe I didn't get that far, but that's awesome. He was saying he hired a PA to go <laughs> stalk the, uh, the PI, Wiki, yeah. a PI. That's crazy. Um, it is crazy. It's really crazy. Well, it's a lot of crazy. I must have missed that. It's I heard him here. talking about this guy, and then he said that his... He uh, said they both together... He says both mods are together, and they live on a ranch together or some shit. What? I swear to God, that's what he says. Well, let's just... Let's watch. Let's, let's hear what he says. I was uh, hosting an event for one of the um, potential sheriff candidates, and I was asked if I could have a co-host who was a well-known PI, um, ex-Mossad Israeli um, PI. And in the middle of the event, I went up to introduce myself to him, and he's like, oh, I know you better than you know yourself. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, oh, yeah, I've pretty much read all your emails. I've... Follow, I've seen everywhere you've gone. I know how you live. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? I thought he was joking. And he said, no, no, no. He's like, when you were in your hedge fund hostel takeover, I was hired by the group of people who didn't want you to get out of, um, who put you in the hostel, put you into the chapter 11 and didn't want you to be able to raise the money. Um, and I was given an unlimited budget. And at the time I had, I, I was flying a lot to go raise capital and getting a company out of a chapter 11. It's a pretty big effort. Um, so they gave him a G he's like, I had a G 550 and unlimited budget. And I, anywhere you went, I went, if you landed, I landed behind you. It's like, I had people in your office servicing your copy machines. I had people implanted everywhere you went. I'm like, hmm, what'd you find? He goes that you, you he actually said that you're really boring. It's like, I was hoping you'd do some really exciting things. Like you land, you go to a meeting, you take back off, you go home. Um, and, uh, and I laughed and I, and I said, well, isn't it illegal for you to tell me? He's like, no, no, no I had a, a NDA that's up now. Um, no, 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 the end, not the, it's not the NDA that's illegal. It's the stalking and <laughs> accessing your emails and shit. <laughs> and I'm like, and I asked him, I said, well, what was the intent? What did they hope to get? He's also, like, they, all they, of the best every time uh, top uh, ex Mossad um, private eyes, they, they tell the people mm -hmm. that they do this to everything mm -hmm. just a couple years later. That's part, that's, how, that's, how, that's part of protocol. That's part of protocol. That's how you build a, a good uh, client list is by betraying all of their secrets to everyone. Mm -hmm. Just openly, so you know, if you ever casually. hire me, I'll tell everybody everything yeah. about my job for you. Yeah. Uh, he. This is the biggest is, lie ever. This is. He's schizo posting. I, I don't know how else to say it, and I'm sorry if that's insensitive, <clears throat> but. This is this Wait, is some real. The background in his office is strikingly similar to what it looked like here. <laughs> Took a little inspiration. <laughs> God, this is crazy. <laughs> All four of them, eh? Just to be just to be clear, Ryan Kavanaugh accused by ex partner here. It says that it's clearly written there. I think it's clearly written there. Yeah, I. It's like to the naked eye, very visible. Accused by ex partner. Yeah. <sighs> that was fun. Good times. <laughs> I mean, you wanted to meet him. Did you realize that investors dropped? He's like, I did have a lot of investors drop. I just thought it was a negative press. He's like, well, no, we did two things. I coordinated with this firm <laughs> called Rubenstein in New York to help plant negative articles. So anyway, How is that not defamation? Where are you at Rubenstein? He's like, yeah, Rubenstein was hired me to defame you. When I could kind of add an air of truth to try to make it seem realistic. But also I would tell them who you were meeting with and they'd go behind you and try and convince them to not invest with you. And I was just like in shock. And um, so he's I was a, like, damn dude, that's crazy. That's for sure how you would react to 
finding out that your entire life for the last 10 years have been manipulated. He goes, this is just a private investigator, but now he's talking to big time business people trying to persuade them not to invest with Ryan. Like the premise makes no sense. Well, that guy was hired by those big time, by, by the Hollywood elite, by the cabal. All right. So that's him talking about the Mossad. I like whenever people tell these, um, tall tales about Mossad, they're like these magical, incredible, uh, <laughs> They're, you know, this guy just emerged out of the ether to yeah. just reveal to him all this information. Also, if <laughs> I will also say, don't you think if if that story is true, like he ran into this guy and this guy told him all of that, it was at that point that he was being fucked with, right? Like whatever that guy was telling him is not true, but he is somehow manipulating Ryan with that information. And this fucking guy, I don't. I don't follow. Like, if he had this encounter, mm -hmm. and this guy came up and was like, hey, I used to work for the Israeli government, but now I, I'm a private eye. I stalked you for the last, like, eight years, and mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know. If that encounter happened, that guy was well, fucking with him at that point. The stalking didn't happen in the past. Whatever think manipulation is happening someone was just fucking started with, with that conversation. <laughs> okay. That's more plausible, frankly. Right. Yeah. I think someone was just fucking with you, bro. <laughs> well, that Wikipedia Here he is talking about Wikipedia. He goes totally off the rails. Plague ...and plays in all of this and what they really are. Well, so it's a little independent of this, interesting enough. And I think my one of the reasons I really wanted to come on and talk about it is I don't know that the mainstream, I mean, the same people who kind of, I want to say mainstream, the, the people who turned... Um, and were able to manipulate the press and the narrative um, have yet figured this out. And yet I think it's starting to God say um, something. And once it's figured out, I mean, you can literally rewrite history in, in the way they want. And I, it scares me. <laughs> so it was interesting how this happened, which is, um, you know, Just even ba though, bear in mind, he's talking about his Wikipedia page. <laughs> well, I kind of had this attack and like it's not that big of a deal, dude. Yeah. Fucking Wikipedia. He also called you mainstream and then corrected himself and didn't want to give you the title of mainstream. He's mainstream. Yeah. Not me. I could never have that title. No. Went through a hard time. Eventually, you know, when you make 200 movies and when you build, you know, a, a studio from scratch. Starts and, glazing himself um, up. You, you know, get drunk and drive all the time. Oh, he mentions that in this interview, too. Oh, God, there's so many good moments. Do we have them all? Oh, because uh, there's uh, one where he goes, oh, yeah. And he he does this thing where like, so, yeah, I got this DUI. I mean, a wet and reckless. It was reduced to a wet and reckless. And then they just keep talking about it like he <laughs> <laughs> it's really something. I got everything. Yep. There's a list of all the things you said earlier. That comes back up. You can't keep it down forever. So they, they suppressed it for a while. And I think they got kind of you know, wasn't a threat to them anymore. And so by 2000, I just realized he has his fucking know, UCLA 17. diploma behind him too. I know. He, he talks about wasn't that. wasn't fucking wanking off Oh yeah, he talks to... about it too, how like, oh my God. the I forget what publication was, but they said he, he did graduate there based on their reporting. And he starts fighting with them about it in this video too. It was kind of back to my clear and fine. One of the things that was always on the top, but I never understood, that was always fine was Wikipedia. And what I mean always fine is. What I mean by always fine is that we could manipulate it, write our own shit yeah. and have full control, control over it. And this, by the way, this is me alleging things. I don't know for sure. I'm just, you know, doing it. You know, at some point. Doing a joke. Well, that's proven. He admits it. Yeah. He admits it in this to fucking with his Wikipedia page. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, I gotta just play for it you guys. It was pretty much like a balanced. <laughs> Um, summary of me, like, I guess what you would expect if you opened up an encyclopedia at that point in time. And I just no, presumed wrong. it was a I company can, that... I can had... comfortably say that that is completely false. It was the biggest, dumbest, silliest puff piece yeah. of a page ever. No, because you, you can see it all. You can see it all. And it made no mention of any of his numerous failures. None. Zero mention. It was all fluff. So that is not balanced in any way. No. Had a bunch of people that did fact checking like any other kind of public journal and, you know, just was neutral and was just there to report kind of report facts or state facts. And, you know, I remember looking at it and it, it was 
very positive in general, talked about all the movies I made and me creating, you know, the Marvel structure and doing the first Netflix oh my deal, God. creating Relativity Real and the sports agency. But it also had in Where's there, it know, all now, dude? Where's it all now? <laughs> you did all these great things. Okay, where, where is it? <laughs> well, so what is this frame behind it? Is that a TV with a little thing on it or is it... Oh, I see. It's a big frame with a couple of things. Done yeah, there. I see. and so he made a little collage. But of doesn't himself. it look dumb when there's so much black space? Yeah, it's horribly yeah, laid it out. Terrible. Because there's not that much shit. Like, yeah, oh, it's like, oh, <laughs> he doesn't have enough to fill it out. Yeah. <laughs> Relativity went through a chapter eleven this year, and um, you know, 2016, and then I bought it back and resold it, and it had in there that in 2006 I had a uh, Wet and Reckless, which is a just below a DUI. <laughs> What's what do you mean just <laughs> below a DUI? Were you drunk or not? A DUI I mean, is from a, from driving a, under the influence. Yeah, from a legal perspective, that is a lesser charge, right? But it seems like it just kind of exists. Who gets a wet and reckless if they're caught a driving rich, drunk? A rich Hollywood producer. Like you get a DUI. Who, who, nope. That's what you get. Who, as he said, has ties to the LA Sheriff's Department. True. True. As he likes to brag you know, about. It was not a a puff article. It was factual. It was what you would expect. And, you know, it was mostly good, but had the stuff in there that was, you know, also not my proudest moments. And I was fine it with that. It did not. Uh, what, what, whatever. But it wasn't actually until I got into <laughs> a strangely unexpected war with a um, a professional um, troll, I'll call him, a YouTube blogger, <laughs> but all he really is is a pressure. Hey, I, I take uh, I take offense to that. They call you a YouTube blogger? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> keeps calling me a blogger. <laughs> this man, this this man, man <laughs> runs a social media company. He thinks I'm a blogger. You see, 80? <laughs> I haven't yeah. even heard that word in like 20 years. YouTube blogger and professional troll are Not you even like blog. oh, blogger? You. That's like what my mom would say about <laughs> yeah. a YouTube video. What? Yeah, it's awesome. Troll that I saw what Wikipedia really was. And um, <laughs> by the way, if you if I'm talking too much, you want to in inject in there. I'm happy to redirect it. But um, fall asleep. You know, I, I I can also just keep going on how this works. She's videos this whole time. I, 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 I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. Yeah, she doesn't talk like at all, which I loved. I didn't, I didn't, because whenever she talks, it's just like so stupid. She doesn't talk at all, and then she kind of like interrupts him at the end. She's okay, like, "We got to go." Oh yeah, there was an hour deadline, so she had to cut him <laughs> off for some reason. This show, this super high end show, right? They had to control the duration. But whenever she talks, she's like, "Yeah," and it just means about like you know how the government is trying to censor us, and they don't. It's like, dude, it's Wikipedia. Uh, long and short is that. So I helped, I co-founded a company called Triller and within Triller, um, which I, I, I'm not really involved in anymore other than co-founding an owner of Chunk, um, I built that sounds within involved. Triller. Yeah, again, like business. Wait, um, I'm not involved anymore. I'm not really involved. I just co-founded it and own a chunk of it. But I think he used to be on the board and he's no longer on the board. That's what he means, I think. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. He's never, he's not. That no was long. probably a good move. Yeah. Although it didn't help. It was still going down in flames. <laughs> the damage is done, my friend. <laughs> um, and it's live on Netflix. Stunk it all so up, Ryan. did the sixth largest digital, I'm uh, sorry, sixth highest grossing pay per view in history, which was something that I personally conceived and produced and came up with. Oh, cool. That was the did it make money? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they lost a shitload of money on that event. Talking about the Jake Paul one. Right? That's the one when he hired like Justin Bieber. Yeah, there was like a million <laughs> celebrities there. Everyone's like, what the fuck? Uh, what's his name? Uh, SNL guy. Oh, yes. Yeah, Pete, Pete Davidson was, was hosting there. it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. I've read about that Pete Davidson asking uh, Jake Paul about the New York Times article. Oh, yeah, that's right. Add, add it to the Savage. Ducky, what are you here. chewing on there? Ducky. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a chew. Oh, he's good. What is that? It's all chewed up. Looks crazy. Um, sorry. What were we talking about? Jake Paul Ben Askren. Yeah, did it lose money? Is there any info about that? I'm, I'm looking for it. Pretty sure it was a massive flop. He said it's Jones sixth, in 2019. Highest sixth. grossing in history. There's no way that's true. Yeah, that seems unlikely. Mm, could easily fact check that, I feel like. Yeah. And the 
first highest grossing digital pay-per-view in history. Oh, digital. And I put Jake Paul as a <laughs> fighter on that undercard. And, you know, he was kind of, at the time, I'll just say, somewhat of a fledgling YouTube blogger that... Um, f- he was not a fledgling YouTube blogger. Is he try- Is he about to say he, he made Jake Paul? That is kind of, that's oh, what he's saying. Oh, shit. Here you go, Jake. You, <laughs> you, you did this. You were involved in this shit, I suspect. And now this dude's saying he made you, so... <laughs> We did not pay a lot of money to, and ultimately he, you know, knocked out Nate and it was a viral moment, which led me to then say, let's go do an event with Jake Paul starring. And that was the Jake Paul. A viral moment, huh? A viral moment when he knocked him out and he's bragging about that. What makes something a viral moment, Ryan? When the video goes viral on the internet, that's all we ever did. Wait, hold hold on. This is actually might be an interesting legal yeah. argument. He says he's glad it went viral. Us talking about it is part of that. If like it's not our fault that he got knocked out in 30 seconds. <laughs> well, like, of course not. Well, so here's the thing. The judge pretty much already said that it's fair use. Right. Okay. So they're not so it's all about this unlisted fucking video with 60 so views. Stupid. Like this whole you're such Dumb an idiot, fucking Ryan. thing is about an unlisted video. What the URL was visible on the screen, like barely. I mean, you. I don't think you could even make it out with the naked eye. Uh, it had sixty views. Forty of them are from him and Keemstar talking about it. <laughs> right. Sure. Yeah. And which was obviously very successful. And I think uh, we spent tens of millions of dollars on the event. And because it was such a young audience in digital, I saw something that um, was quite shocking, which is we had probably 50x pay-per-view eyes digitally pirated in stolen. Whatever. And people were profiting off of that. So our lawyers had told Triller, you know, Dana White and UFC, when this happened, actually sued people who pirated. And so Triller and its board, which is a multi-billion dollar company, not... No, it's not. It's worthless. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to take a fucking vested interest in that. Some little company that I run um, decided it was going to do something actually one step better, which is it was going to come publicly and give people 30 days who illegally pirated to just pay the forty nine ninety nine and get a release. And if not, it was going to go after them. And it went after, I don't know, five or six sites who picked up the stream and illegally sold them. And um, I, I kind of wasn't involved. I just, you know, knew they were doing it. Um, and then one day, someone called me and said, you know, this comp- this, this podcast, H3H3, and it was named Ethan Klein. Shout um, out! Well, uh, I, don't, I don't understand. Wow! This guy... out there, Patriot TV. This guy knows nothing about me. And I believe him at this point. <laughs> but he still missays the podcast name. What H three H three podcast? Why is he? Why do people say that? Like I understand right. why old fans would say it, but why the fuck would Ryan say it? Uh, just well, it's your Twitter handle and stuff too, so he probably I guess recognizes it's the it booze people. talking. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, that's a joke. What did you type? Love first highest grossing. Well, he said. Well, I feel he said it was the first highest grossing something. <laughs> it can't be both. It, it's the first highest. What does that mean? It's yeah. yeah it I guess make if any it was sense. the first, it must be the highest. Were we well, able to, either or? Are, were we not able to fact check that's the stats? It was according to Jake Paul initially, and if what Jake Paul initially reported, then it would have been one of the top grossing of all time. I'm trying to find if there's a yeah. More that's the thing. Uh, I, I'm finding similar things where there aren't like official numbers. It's more just like self reported Yeah, from Jake and other people involved. So well, he did it. Okay, all right, whatever. This guy's like just trashing on you on his podcast. I'm like, I've never heard of this guy. Why would he be doing that? And they're like, they say you're suing him. And I'm like, I've never heard of him. Why would I sue him? And needless to say, I kind of ignored it. And then over the next month, they're like, this guy's done like 30 podcasts on you. And then it was like 50. And then the number changes every time he talks about it. Like he'll do an interview like <laughs> one week after the other and he'll be like, he did 40. He did 50. It's like, bro, just pick a number. Yeah. He, he uh, apparently on a podcast said something like, I think he looks like Harvey Weinstein. And actually, it's funny because I actually watched this. And, um, He's a and fan. His own people were like, nah, now you're stretching. 
And then he decided, oh, I'm going to start this trend. And he kept saying, Ryan looks like Harvey Weinstein. So he actually created a website, which is really what? funny. Called It's really funny. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. It. That's why he's, that's We're going to add that to the website. He endorses it. <laughs> That's why he tried to sue our like web domain too, uh, and accused us of like stealing his identity or some shit. Yeah. Uh, Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? It is funny though. And I agree. It's very funny. Make games where you can like scroll my face to his face, <laughs> and the implication obviously there is trying to make it seem like I'm like Harvey Weinstein. No, no you're not sorry. Harvey Weinstein. Putting words in my mouth. You're not that, like Harvey that, Weinstein It's at all. the opposite, bro. Yeah, we're trying that, to. It's to dis dis. To say you're two different people. Right. I'm drawing the differences. That's the whole point of the what? website, man. And I yeah. take I take great offense at any suggestion of, of anything else happening. Yeah, and the domain is a question. It's everything is a question, it's not a statement. Does you see this? Ryan Kav No is the answer, of course. But after watching the website. Yeah, after you yeah. learn. After you learn. Yeah. <laughs> after a while, you know. Um but it got so bad that... Um, hey, Ryan, what does it say else on the website? If you scroll down all the way and there's like a bullet list of all these things, like what is... It? That's why I don't understand. Like, this is... Why are you calling attention to the website, <laughs> sir? I don't know, but I'm loving it. Site on his sorry, podcast, it turns out this guy has 7 million followers. And I'd literally never heard of him. And he was doing a podcast on me daily. But he wasn't just doing a podcast. He was misrepresenting. Like things like I sued him. Um, he said he won. You know, he said, oh, okay, that's material. Like you just got on about how you're like the running this huge business and you're the guy there. And uh, it's like, well, you are, you are Triller. I mean, what the fuck do you want from me? Pretty much. He put up um, things like Daily Variety um, and Hollywood Reporter eyes on his background. As you can see, I have Daily Variety in the background when they named me Billion Dollar Producer. <laughs> and he what year was that from? <laughs> articles as his headline and it was like um ryan cabin accused a ponzi scheme and he had removed words to make that seem like i had actually done a ponzi scheme okay but hold on i i remember i know that when we did this i intentionally kept the text big enough so that it was visible to the naked eye because i just wanted it to lay out nicely because it was too wordy. So, like, I feel like this is highly visible, accused by ex-partner. Yeah. It's big, it's visible, it's readable, and, and that was intentional, because I, w I didn't want people to get the, the any other, you know. Impressive. Because he was accused by, by his ex-partner. Later retracted. Which he retracted, but, like, whenever I'm talking about it, I'm pretty specific about he was accused by his ex-partner. But it was later retracted, which is an important detail. Versus, you know, this this teeny little nothing that never was talked about pissing contest between me and a guy I fired. Um, and <laughs> oh yeah, he he makes these wonderful excuses about everything. So apparently that lawsuit was just a pissing contest between some dude he fired. Yeah, it's okay. awesome. Sure, he, Push. he he continually does this about all of the accusations against him. Yeah, and went to his people and said, "Listen, everybody should post an uplink this." And he started Reddit threads. And, what did I do? Um, subreddits and he's on Discords. What? I was probably getting twenty to thirty thousand <laughs> death threats a day. Dude, uh, this was my what? third. No, this, this is the best. No, you did it. You what liar. He was getting twenty to thirty thousand death insane. threats a day. No. You are insane, bro. What would that what? look like? Twenty to thirty thousand <laughs> death threats. What do you mean? What? <laughs> what, what, is, what do you mean? I cannot believe you just said that. Also, uh, the, I, I shouldn't <laughs> feel bad for the lady, but I. I can't help but feel kind of bad for her. Like she's a loony too. She's, how nah. the fuck could she possibly know what the fuck he's talking she doesn't, about? But she doesn't. But don't feel bad. She has got to be her. lost. Mm -hmm. At one point, she compares what Ethan's doing to the Soviet Union rewriting history. <laughs> so, because, yeah, yeah, because that's their whole shtick, and she doesn't know what's happening. Ryan's the one who just fucking photoshopped <laughs> out people from a photo. <laughs> that's memory hole. Yes. It's mm. literally like the Stalin meme, dude. Yeah, that is literally <laughs> Stalin. At least Stalin took out the hands, though. <laughs> right. Stalin was way more careful. <laughs> um, I that that part 
I was just I can't. I was flabbergasted. Said that. No, I twenty to thirty thousand death threats, bro. That would mean like okay, hold on, let me do some math. Twenty four hours in a day. We know that obviously. So let's do three hundred thirty thousand divided by twenty four. So it's one thousand two hundred fifty per day. One thousand per hour. Per, wait, what? It's just a not like his phone is just like blowing up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's per. You said thirty thousand a yeah, day. Yeah, it's one thousand two hundred fifty per hour. hour. Wow, Jesus. Wait, one thousand two hundred fifty per hour, and then if you divide that by sixty, 20. he was he was getting twenty per second. <laughs> no, twenty per minute. Phone, uh, just twenty per minute. <laughs> Kill yourself, kill yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. What the hell? <laughs> um he started telling me to go after my my ex-wife who's my best friend and mother of my child. She was getting death threats. They were they were oh, she just I mean, up. it was to the point where I couldn't ignore it anymore. So I mean, listen. I, I, I hope that's all that's untrue. But the fact that you said twenty or thirty thousand per day, as I'm not taking any of this seriously. Yeah, right? you yeah. lost credibility. There's zero sir. credibility. Unreliable sir. narrator. Also. Absolutely. I actually started They're to respond publicly, which is <laughs> true. The stupidest thing I could do. Um, and I'll be to Wikipedia in one second. Um, yeah, and she's all just of a like, sudden, what are we even talking about? about right his pockets. Right? I didn't realize <laughs> someone had said to me, "What happened to your Wikipedia?" <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean what happened to my Wikipedia? I looked. She's like, that's And it was like, uh, written. And in his mind, this is the line that nobody should cross. Like, I had nothing to do with this shit, okay? But like, <laughs> in his line. mind, of all the shit, he's like, you crossed the line, buddy. You were, you were sending him 30,000 death threats a day. But you but touched my Wikipedia. Wikipedia page. Can you imagine how fucked up that would be? 20, you'd have to have like a huge, sophisticated botnet. Yeah, like yeah. multinational botnet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he thinks that's what's going on. He also thinks he was being stalked by Mossad. So like, he might have a paranoid personality disorder. Uh, genuinely, I'm I starting so. to kind of think that there's something something going on as if i was bernie madoff meets uh jeffrey dahmer i mean i didn't say that but that's a pretty good i like that you might have said that oh did i Jeff we, we've mentioned jeffrey dahmer a few times so i could potentially that sounds like something you'd say well that's funny that is funny i mean that's a good compare i like what <laughs> realized he someone had said to me what happened to your wikipedia and i'm like what do you mean what happened to my wikipedia i looked and it was like Written nobody said that. You if, were looking nobody, at it. You were name searching, my dude. <laughs> Wait, this whole self-reporting about Wikipedia coming up is fantastic. I told you this one's so good. Dan. Yeah. No, you're right. We you're might right. have to wait on the. Um, I think we have to because we. This only one have, is so we have fucking about 10 good. Left. Like I don't want to. I don't want to skip anything. Yeah, I think you should give it the time it deserves. It's so good. We can talk about Bernie failure on Friday. Meets, yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> like from the yeah, So. I went on and I'm like, tried to lodge a complaint. And as soon as okay, I like. So first of all, bro, you don't lodge complaints to Wikipedia because your personal page doesn't say what you do, stuff that you think is, <laughs> makes you look dumb and bad or it's yeah. incorrect. That's not how Wikipedia works, bro. I, I can't so he's like, out. yeah. So I went to Wikipedia and told him, what's the deal? Why, are, why can't I change my, my page back? All this Wikipedia language, they like jumped down my throat and all these people are texting me like, you violated the rules, you're not allowed. No, to okay, he goes, all these people are texting me. Who the fuck is, you mean like the people you're hired to maintain your page? Like who the fuck would text I think, uh, I think he is just a boomer. I think he, by texting he means he was receiving messages on Wikipedia. Because remember we followed all of that. There was like all that drama on his talk page. Where they were oh, all maybe you're like, right. he's just a this account is yeah. clearly Ryan Kavanaugh. You can't edit your own page, which is like, yeah, boo hoo, Ryan. That's the policy. You you're like, they don't want. The that's how it remains themselves. credible. He acts yeah. like it's not credible. That's how it remains credible, so that people can't fucking write whatever they want right. about. You're themselves. the one trying to make it not credible by editing yourself. Like that's the problem. This is my own speculation, but based on how many articles he's responded to, and they had to change stuff, and just his behavior in general, he just wants to know who he could threaten, like who. Who can I send a letter to? Well, it gets really disturbing to me because, like I said, he he gets into how he basically stalked, uh, had a, a PI stalk the the mods, <laughs> or I don't know, I don't know if he found out who they were or what. 
Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy but though. Roast alone. Put comments on your own page. Not cool. He put a hit on Thrust. Heard, I'm kidding. I heard Thrust was ex Mossad. <laughs> yeah, he, it has to be. Too. He has to be. Yeah. And um, I just was like, I'm not sure what I'm violating, but this is all false and, and it's defamatory and it shows up on the first position. And Bro, you are self reporting so bad. You Nobody gives a fuck. He goes, it's the first position and it's just got all this mean shit in it. That's Wikipedia. Also, he's obsessed with the first position. Like, he, he's exposing how like he's into all this SEO and maintaining this Wikipedia page and stuff. He right, oh yeah, he's doing all that yep. in my opinion, allegedly. For about eight months, um, there were people who I think were coming to kind of my side of things within this Wikipedia ecosystem, where it would get reverted back to the old one, I meaning the the, pro the one that was done prior to his involvement. And then it would get reverted back to it, like a completely rewritten version and then reverted back and then reverted back. And after about eight months of going back and forth and, and people were texting me on the side who didn't know me through like Instagram saying we're on your side. This That's bullshit, terrible. bro. You know, we're trying to help you. He, the horde, the hordes of his uh, loving hordes fans are watching this Wikipedia editing take place. We're with you, my friend. We're all watching your <laughs> Wikipedia pages uh, logbook. <laughs> You remember when he stalked Thrust onto the Shrek wiki? <laughs> Allegedly. Oh my god. Wait, no, I thought... Is that... Uh, I thought we knew that that was him, but... I think... Well... <laughs> what was the name of the user? I, it, was a long, it was a long time ago, but remember it was that... like somebody somebody found Thrust on the Shrek wiki and was like, Hello Thrust, I found you. Oh, I remember it. <laughs> it was fantastic, but I don't remember... I guess it. we... It, who knows? It could be somebody just posing as him or something. But I don't know was if the name said his name or what. It was the very funny, though. Uh, I sent the, the initial right. Yeah, here. Pose. Nice, A.B. We've got... Oh, this. so this was... This was so good. Apparently, what's alleged here or speculated... Thanks for just opening the Reddit logo. <laughs> oh, it was an account called FoundU35, and they sent a message and said, Hi, Throst. Pleasure to finally meet you. You've been a very busy boy. Maybe we should talk sooner than later. Dude thinks he's Jigsaw. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wrote that, which I don't know who. We don't know for sure. We don't know. But it does it sound similar a... to a message loved ones. <laughs> yes. So. That's kind of what we based it off, too. That's a very, very similar message I got. Oh, wait. This, okay, this gives it away. He says Popoki around here somewhere because that's another person he's constantly uh, obsessed with calling yeah. out. Oh, that it has to be him. What a play. Or, I well, mean, we might have talked about it on the show. The evidence is pretty compelling. It's compelling. It's compelling. Found you 35, bro. It's Wikipedia. <laughs> Live or die. Anyway, this is all alleged. This is all speculation based on what we're reading there. Yeah. Good stuff, though, eh? I'm telling you, man. Been a very busy boy. <laughs> You've been a very busy boy, Thrust. <laughs> we're, you know, Wikipedia editors or whatever they were saying, and, um, you know, you're being, uh, what they call it, vandalized on your Wikipedia. And then all of a sudden, I got a text from them saying, the people that Ethan Klein is paying to defame you um, God. No one said that because first of all, it's not true. So he's saying somebody told me Ethan Klein are paying people. How do you know that? Uh, a senior editor. I forgot. There's a there's a name for a person who's like a that's senior awesome, admin. Though. I didn't know that. And there's only like a couple hundred of them. <laughs> Dude, that's on awesome. So it's gross to senior admin. <laughs> Fucking legend. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because you threatened to sue him and you were talking mad shit, and maybe maybe he doesn't like you from that. <laughs> I mean. He has plenty of reason not to like you. But also, he's a very dedicated Wikipedia moderator, so he takes his job seriously too, Ryan. Right. So they, we can no longer help you. <laughs> They're going to be able to write whatever they want. And so I kind of got close with a couple people who I'll say are Wikipedia experts, and I just said, can you guys you just get a job, like dude? He has way too much free time. What are you doing? Uh-huh. I got, I so got, I kind of got in good I with some of the top Wikipedia. Editors. I brought together a think tank of the top <laughs> Wikipedia minds. <laughs> what, dude? What I do here. So I sent in multiple letters to Wikipedia. I started doing my research and I realized oh there God. is no Wikipedia. I, <gasps> yeah, you can't send letters to Wikipedia asking for you to change your own page, dummy. Do you think it's like a place? 
Like it exists? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm curious what this revelation is he's about to do. Wikipedia <laughs> is a... They call themselves a charitable organization. They have hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. They send out these emails to people every so often saying, you know, oh, we need your donation, even though they have millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. All right, Ryan, let's be careful about accusations of charity impropriety. Okay? <laughs> I think yeah. Habitat for Humanity will have some questions for right. you. Right. Buddy. They don't run anything. They actually just basically pay for the storage space and pay themselves fat salaries. They don't. I love how he's just coming after the whole institution now. They don't interject. They don't intervene. They have no fact checking. And all of these That's people. Not, dude, Wikipedia is amazing. I, honestly, it's one of the best things about the internet. It's one of the last good things about the yeah, internet. Yeah. Like it is such an amazing website. And it, and, and frankly, over the years, it's gotten really, in my opinion, credible. It's become very, very, very. Somewhat. I mean,. I yeah, think you know, so. Still, I mean, gotta, you always got to dig a little deeper. Hey, you know, in the comedy world, you know, we take, say with the last take it with a little grain of salt, but but yeah, I mean, it's a it's a good starting point. I mean, it's like a, it's like an encyclopedia. It, yeah, exactly, you and it's it's, got, it's literally everything. Yeah. Who actually create the content? It's it's content by popularity. So <laughs> how many people upload what? it? How many people um, you know agree with them? Wikipedia. And so in the case of something like Ethan Klein, where it turns out he's got you know seven million followers. Yes, seventy billion followers. <laughs> followers who are uh, now that I've done my research between fourteen and nineteen years old. Oh yeah, he says our fans are between four. Based on his research, our fans are between fourteen and nineteen years old. For sure. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Which is by far our least popular demographic. And you don't have seven million followers anywhere. You don't even have seven million subscribers on the. You don't have channel. three seven follow real followers. No, I'm talking about you. You don't have seven million subscribers oh, no. even on productions. I I'm assuming he's adding them all together or something. I don't but know. even then, it's more. Right. He's, he's definitely adding them. He's using that same math when he's talking about figures for. Everything he's produced is well. <laughs> yeah, right. He, yeah. he, he has a problem. That's Hollywood with, math. He has a problem yeah. with numbers. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he goes, he can't accept the fact that adults think he sucks. That has to be kids. Sorry, Ryan. Right. He Just because says, you hang out with 13 to 19 year olds, <laughs> like, you know, Bryce Hall, for example. I don't know how old he is now, but he was pretty young when they started becoming besties. He says in his failure podcast that he's not good with numbers. He does. He has called him out. He's okay. like, I see now why you're a failure because you can't get your numbers. Right. <laughs> I can't wait to get to that. But this is too good. All of these people who actually create the content, it's it's content by popular. Whoops. Whoa. What? The uh, but, uh, <laughs> insurance specialist. But you still get some of the. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Did Rosenberg it just jump? All right, I'm just skipping forward big time. Okay. Across the board. And what's really interesting is I'm a producer at heart. I make movies. I just finish. It's nice you're a producer at a heart. I mean, <laughs> are you a producer in real life? No, yeah. because of no. you, he says. Because of me? You took that away from him. What, did I fucking get in a time machine and bankrupt relativity? <laughs> you're like the Soviet Union. You're rewriting is history. It, is it your fault that Do we haven't set for... It's all my fault. Skill house yet? Did I drive that car drunk? Did Under the you... influence? Did Wet you wait to release failure until the first guest was a tr charge with SA? No, <laughs> that wasn't me. 37 days, I, I actually accused, accused the director. Accused, but, accused, uh, accused, accused, accused. Ethan decided, alleged, 50 podcasts on me or whatever number he did, that I'm not a producer, I just raised money. He doesn't want it to say that I produced any movies. So Bro, I don't care. This, <laughs> I don't you care about, about your production record. If anything, I think I've given it up to him. Like, yeah, he made a lot of good movies back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's trying to say that he thinks somebody is trying to say he's not a real producer because all he did was raise money. That's, I, like, that's another thought. That's what a producer that's does. That's a producer. What do you think <laughs> your job is? That was also another thought I had. Like, he, that's it. What, is, what the fuck else do you do? Yeah. Go on to Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm not a producer. I'm a guy who raised some money for the studios. Even I don't though care. I am a producer and I'm a credited producer and I'm a PGA producer and I'm Bro, you are yeah, so we get it. he's so living in the past. Nobody nobody yeah. said otherwise. He he's really stuck when he was like important and at relativity and people respect him. He's stuck there. He can't get past it. This is what it all comes down to. Stunted development. 
Yeah. Yeah, all these pictures of himself. But that's embarrassing, success, man. Have some self-awareness. And I mean, what, what year is this shit from, man? You know? Mid-2000s or late 2000s? <laughs> I mean, like. dude, it's time to move on. Shit. I'm looking at, across for me, the my Academy uh, uh, plaques and my AFI awards. and um, Great. You know... Uh, uh, obviously, there's no one who worked with me that wouldn't say I'm the producer in every sense of the I've word. I've never said that. Um, but they've removed any mention of it. And even though there's hundreds of articles, Hollywood Reporter, Variety, all the same sources that say it. So what... I, I don't even know what he's talking about. He's saying it? that if, I, I according know. to his Wikipedia article, he is not a producer. However, I'm looking at his Wikipedia article right now. Or is this an old one? Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at it the old It definitely one. says he was a producer. American Film Financier. Has to. Yeah. Um, let's see if the word producer appears. Oh, occupation, occupation, film producer, literally <laughs> under his photo. And that's generous because that's not your current occupation. Yeah, right? former occupation. Former occupation. Well, Skillhouse. No, Skillhouse. Skill well, yeah. we don't know that that movie was real yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll no, believe it when I see may, it. Remains then you'll be, be a seen. producer again. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, on the on here. Let me uh, put it on screen. Boom! You open the page. Here he is. Birthday, Relativity occupation, film media. producer. So what is the problem? The problem is that, I don't know. That's what I'm confused He's about. Like, there was like a long list of like his projects that, that he want, needs that list back. I don't know what he meant. Producer. Wants. Credit as executive producer. Reputation as a producer. Executive producer. <laughs> Three Productions Academy Award. Here's his filmography. Executive producer. producer. Here it all is. Producer on this. When's the last one he made? Uh, Hunter Killer 2018. 2018, that's way too recent. Uh, no. 2018? Because it was going through all the turmoil, like 2016, 17, 18. There's no way that movie made money. I don't know what it is, but with that name, no way. Hunter Killer. How what come the an fuck? action thriller. How come Skill House isn't on there? Uh, because it doesn't, have to doesn't come exist out yet. yet. I don't no. know. All right, well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. They did is they, they, they pieced together. And they took pretty much any articles they could find that had a negative line about me. So let's say there was a, a there was a twelve page Vanity Fair spread on me, which was ninety five percent positive. And listen, nobody's perfect. I made mistakes, and they list my mistakes, and I own my mistakes. So in there, it's you like, don't. Oh, you get upset when people talk about it. Not at all. Not at all. He got a. Um, not a DUI, but a wet and reckless in two thousand six, and <laughs> I don't know something else. I got sued once by so and so. No. Well, it doesn't have any of the twenty. So he goes, I got a wet and reckless, and I was sued by so-and-so. Yada, yada. Don't yada, 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 yada. Don't worry about it. There was a settlement out of court. 20 pages of positive. It just has. He got a wet and reckless in 2006 and, you know, uh, got sued. The rest of the say well, well, guess what, bro? You did that shit. <laughs> right. So, yeah. You like, maybe don't. Say, fair play, dude. Maybe just don't drive, drink, and drive. That's where, right. that's the problem. That's why it's on your Wikipedia page. That's your fault. He's like, it doesn't exactly. mention I was in a sick-ass Ferrari when they pulled me over. That's yeah. right. I'm missing the important details. Right. So, interested enough, the people who were trying to help me were reaching out saying, we're going to do a test. And they did a test where they said, we're just going to change grammar. Again, he's admitting to soliciting people editing Wikipedia. He says, the people that I'm working with are doing tests trying to change grammar. Um, <laughs> that, that's against the rules. Hey, he's admitting yeah, once he's again. He's again. He's still doing it. He's on the record now saying he's tr attempting to manipulate his own Wikipedia page. A test. And they did a test where they said, we're just going to change grammar. And we have a feeling we're going to get attacked. And they did. They said they went in and changed things like the or and. <laughs> I think what happened is because there was this constant battle... And because it was so obvious that it was the person himself trying to edit the page, right. that they gave it a special uh, protective status mm -hmm. to prevent him or anyone affiliated with him from easily coming and editing it. That makes sense. Yeah. It says right here, when you go to the talk page, contentious topics procedure applies to this page because of all the back and forth editing that went on. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Or just, you know, year, things that were non-controversial in any way. <laughs> and they literally got attacked, and they got attacked by someone named Thros and Popovki. Okay, this is, this part's actually really disturbing. So these two people, who are their screen names on Wikipedia, 
since the day Ethan kind of said everybody should go in, have spent the last two years every single day. For the first eight months, it was only editing my site every day. And then it was only editing mine and Ethan's site, making his and H3's, you know, more positive and mine more and more negative. And every day it was, you know, adding more and more. And still to this day, now I think they have three or four other sites they work on every you say day. That they were doing it every single day. Yes. I don't think that's true. I'm looking right now. Oh, wait, he's saying like, that's we were... the beautiful thing about uh, Wikipedia is it's all logged publicly. And he's saying so we it's were... very easy to verify all these things that he's saying. Uh, I mean, I see Throast in there sometimes. Let's see. Throast is the man, oh, dude. It looks like there was a long gap with no edits at all. <laughs> Throast is November. the man. You know, he cares. I don't. He, I don't care. Although he said we were working on four other pages. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Non-controversial in any way, and they literally got attacked, and they got attacked by someone named Throast <laughs> and Popopki. So these two people, who are their screen names on Wikipedia, since the day Ethan kind of said everybody should go in, have spent the last two years every single day. That's yeah. For that's... the first eight months, it was only editing my site every day. And then it was only editing mine and Ethan's site. Making he, at, at one hand, he goes, they're only working on my one page only. But then on the other hand, he goes, this is one of a hundred super admins that like is deeply involved. I think he might have been saying company. that that was the person he got in with or whatever. That might be a different person than Oh, Throst. I thought he was talking about Throast. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I thought it was Throast. Ad yeah, I think he was talking about Throast. Oh, okay. Maybe I misunderstood. H3 is, you know, more positive and mine more and more negative. And I don't care day, about my Wikipedia page. I don't look at it. <laughs> He's like, cares. they were editing his page to make it so good. I don't give a fuck, bro. That page has always had uh, a bunch of shit about me. And guess what? It's, you know, if I did controversies and it's there, that's fine. That's how it works, dummy. It is what it is. <laughs> it was, you know, adding more and more. And still to this day... Why are you now, checking my page? He admits to, like, monitoring my page. Yeah. What's up, bro? You want to learn something about me? I'm trying to see if, uh... If Thros really... Edited anything on your page. I don't know. I'm curious. I've, I've never checked because I just don't care. No results. Thros has never touched my page. At least in the most 500 recent edits, which... Here, I'll even go back. Keep you, going. Oh, no, that goes all the way back to the creation of the page. No, Thrust has never touched your page. You've mentioned something about your page that you don't like, and if he was a fan, I feel like you would have changed it about your grandfather. Oh, yeah, it said that he was my... Let me let me open it. I haven't looked at it in a minute. Ethan Klein, Wikipedia. I did suspect that he was defacing it, though. Because, like, at the same time... <laughs> Somebody was adding like in like in great detail all my controversies that wasn't there before. And I'm like, oh, I don't care. Oh yeah, no, I'm saying like Thrust if, if or Thrust if he was uh, he you okay. guys are talking about he didn't edit yours, right? Okay, the H three H three Pog or Productions Wikipedia page, I did a con uh, control F for Thrust. Oh wait, this I is... did get results. However, it's some account called Deeper Thrust. <laughs> what? Which I'm pretty sure just means that's a fan. Who's leaning into the to the whole Thrust meme or whatever? Okay, wait. This is I guess the H three H Productions one is the one about me, or in better detail. Yeah. Um, it just says that my. It said that Leonard Katzman is my grandpa, and I was like, I barely. Right. I don't it's think. A, yeah. But then, like, there's controversies here. It's like I didn't even think about like allegations against the Wall Street Journal. I was like, what the fuck. <laughs> uh. Hussein Zada versus Klein, we love. Oh, and that's it. Oh, I, oh, I thought there was more. Really there was a, much. there was a section like he said the N word, and this, it's like, how is that newsworthy though? Right. And it, uh, clearly it wasn't because it got removed. It's interesting how your your current one though talks about taking Lexapro and well, but like, is that recently added? Where like, does it say that? If you go to the your other page, Ethan Klein page. At the bottom of it. <laughs> Klein has Tourette's syndrome and has been vocal about how it affects his life. Okay. Klein has also struggled with depression and takes Let's Brown while well, Butrin is treatment. 
He has said the medication changed my life and helped me so much. Okay, that is, that's the most interesting thing about me, I guess. <laughs> oh, God, it says Trisha paid a sister-in-law. And Moses, hack- Moses has a page. It mentions your grand, uh, grandfather right there. I guess they added biological grandfather. Maybe they okay. added that. Anyway, go ahead, Ryan. I think they have three or four other sites they work on every day. Frost and Popovki, which we now know come from the same place, um, are oh, yeah. editing my site in a way that I cannot correct. No one at Wikipedia will respond. <laughs> Um, and any person who is, you know, I call it a good Samaritan that reaches out saying, you know, we know what you did and we're trying to help you because this isn't you. Um, Bro, this is insane. Good Samaritans are reaching out saying, Hey, this isn't you, man. Um, if they even try to touch it, they get attacked. They sit in a, where they get that threatened to lose their privileges of editing on Wikipedia, which scares away anybody from writing anything on my site that's positive. The other part that's, that, that became really scary on that is that, um, so <laughs> when I tried to lodge a complaint, I was actually locked out. I cannot <laughs> go on. To- Dude, he got banned because he was like, Jesus. why are you commenting on your own page one? And then they also claimed, uh, I don't know based on what, maybe IP or something, but they claim in the comments section that he was running like many soft puppet soft accounts. Puppets, yeah. mm-hmm. And so he got banned. But you're not supposed to edit or comment on your well, own page. He, correct me if I'm wrong, but did he not threaten legal action? Oh yeah, he threatened to sue them and yeah. and the mods that he named. Right. The irony, I've only heard one person in my life ever threaten anyone on Wikipedia. <laughs> that, I know, man. It's wow. awesome. It's fucking awesome. I was, sorry, I was I'm asking this earlier, but we got distracted. Do you think he's reading right now? While reading? Been, nah. Because of his eyes? Okay. I don't think so. I think he's just focusing on yeah. what he's saying. Because I wasn't trying to do anything shady, and I was trying to be honest. I did it through my own IP address. You know, mm-hmm. I didn't block anything, and I went on. And he's like, yeah, I'm an idiot. I don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> That's why I got banned. I, the, hi, can someone help me? This, my page is being destroyed by a paid p- party. I know they're paid. Um, no, you don't. And that just basically got me locked out. So I, I had hired PIs. I tracked down Frost and Popovki. Her name's Sarah. Um, I'll actually give you her last name. Dude, this is crazy that he's what saying someone's Why name. Why are you like doxing some I random know. person, dude? This is dangerous psycho shit. Wait, we shouldn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't identify her. He goes, oh, I can't remember her last name. I'll have to go get it. But he never does. <sighs> so he doesn't actually ever say anything that. We'll Jesus, compromise that's her. fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, it is. Um, and I'll look it up in one second. And they live in a commune. And so apparently, have- these two <laughs> live in a commune oh together. Oh my god, I want to go. What do you mean? Oh, there's I like want to go to the Wikipedia editor's <laughs> commune, commune, dude. There's that, there's that Wikipedia editor's commune where they're just <laughs> editing Ryan's page. <laughs> dude, you are getting fucking fleeced. I'm pretty like, I don't listen. I don't have all of the information, but. Hearing him talk about how he's being approached by people who supposedly are manipulating his life and blah, blah, blah. What I think is really going on is that PI is taking you for a ride, Ryan. Because if, assuming this really happened, Mm -hmm. because there is no way that there is some like communist Wikipedia editor commune (laughs) with all of these people that are obsessed with your life and editing your Wikipedia. That is, that is actually crazy that you think that a movie even have you seen the movie beautiful mind (laughs) yeah right so you remember how he's like his roommate who he's like spending all the time with it ends up not being real i have a feeling that (laughs) something like that's happening (laughs) could be i I just i don't know what a twist that would be you know it's not your fault actually sent authorities (laughs) over there um now we're having to sue them uh, he sent the authorities to a commune. What? For what? <laughs> For editing. What authorities? Wiki. Bro, this is, <laughs> I mean, how nuts is this? This is bananas. I wasn't One more time. To shady, and I was trying to be yeah. honest. I did it through my own IP address. You know, I didn't block anything. And I went on and I said, guys, that, hi, can someone help me? This, my page is being destroyed by a paid p- party. I know they're paid. Um, and that, that just basically got me locked out. 
So I, I had hired PIs. I tracked down Throst and Papapki. Her name's Sarah. Um, I'll actually give you her last name. Oh my God. Um, and I'll look it up in one second. And they live in a commune. And we actually sent authorities over there. Um, now we're having to sue them. Uh, and they're protected in this kind of commune, like, so nobody can really get to them. Dude, it's like the fucking... <laughs> what? Are they holding up in there, like, refusing yeah. to leave what's or that, what? What's that cult that, like... Oh, everyone had to kill. They all had guns and Waco, shit. Waco. Uh, yeah, it's Waco, like, it's yeah, like Waco. a Waco. Branch yeah. Davidians. Bro, I have a Waco compound <laughs> what the fuck? where they're editing Ryan's page. I think it's beautiful that Pavoki and um, Throst live together. I that didn't. I had no idea about that. That, that, that <laughs> oh, they were in love. Maybe they around. met after they, yeah, they right. saw each other. Hey, and they're like, I saw you on the Ryan Kavanaugh talk yeah. page on Wikipedia. <laughs> I love editing. I his. love. <laughs> My favorite thing is editing his Wikipedia page. You too? <laughs> <laughs> they have so much in common. Let's move to a wow. compound in Waco. This man says, I can't get to them. He, they're being protected. And what they live in a commune. Not. And we actually sent authorities over there. Um, now we're having we to sue them. We sent authorities uh, over there. We sent the police. Who's we? Well, he, he does have con connections yeah. to the police, so maybe he actually did. If yeah. it's in California, he might actually okay, have been able enough. to. Although mm -hmm. it didn't seem like they got very uh, deep into that investigation. Balls. If they're being protected by a commune. <laughs> uh, and they're protected in this kind of commune, like, so nobody can really get to them. Dude. <laughs> what? This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> it you think is. he's always as crazy, or is he like losing it? Um, I don't because, know. Because like this is next level. I actually don't know. Him. Like everything I we've encountered so far from him, this is the craziest thing. He's probably always had it. He's just never been like he's never had to deal with any shit like this. I, I feel like he's got nothing left to lose. Like at yeah. this point, his the Triller thing is not ha working. It ain't working. Out. His Fight Club, all the shit he's been working on. You know, he's made this still podcast. Still not out. He's making this podcast where he's having to edit out the people that worked on it. Right. And and and, and then he made this movie with Bryce chance. Hall that's never coming out. So the, he just has nothing. Chat said Pokey bin Laden. <laughs> Wait, what's Pum what, what is that? <laughs> the the mods or the uh Wikipedia Pokey. They said Popoki bin Laden. I don't get it. Because they're hiding in a compound. Because they're Oh, Popoki bin Laden. Yeah. Got it. Because he's in like a terrorist compound. <laughs> Got it. It's funny. Got it. Kev, Kev, hit me up. <laughs> I'll double it, like Kanye. I'll double it. I'll Send him double. the contract. I'll double his pay. And this funny um, guy. Amazing. And here's the funny part. The funny part is I sue. I ended up having to sue Ethan for all the things he did wrong, and I won. You I did won. not win. What are you talking about? You did not win the lawsuit. You did not. <laughs> <laughs> like this is at this point. I am starting to question. Yeah, we're... Do we need to 5150 Ryan Kavanaugh? Like, Bro, we need to get him on. What like, was the thing Brittany was on? We need to get him a conservatorship. Conservatorship, dude. We got to contact his ex-wife or the bull or somebody to take over. Yeah. Maybe the bull. Yeah, he got it. It's to be a complete the cuck circle. <laughs> right. <laughs> a defamation case. that you They're impossible to win. Right. Well, it's, it's you didn't, well, Yeah, and you, you, you didn't won. win. You didn't win the you defamation won the case. case. <laughs> Dummy. This is the first time I hear her he voice. Just, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He goes, is it possible to win those? Yeah, well, you didn't win it. <laughs> I mean, so much for Sullivan versus the New York Times, apparently, but I'm glad it at least was upheld in this. Um, uh, we're going to take one more quick break and then come back. And I oh, the talk ads are one of my favorite parts. Watch this. About the uh, zoomed out implications of this, because Let's zoom obviously it out, right? it's problematic. Nobody gives a shit about <laughs> It's problematic. She has no idea what's made what up. Fourth branch. Damn. Check it out. We've got, uh, let's consumer see. Report. Hi, this is Sean Morgan with an AMP Consumer Get Report. GetAnAnnuity.com. I'm specialist in insurance. <laughs> and Danny, a lot of people are worried about Bidenomics, about the situation. <laughs> Bidenomics. Hey, how volatile everything is. Yo, is he really is. on the beach? Yeah, <laughs> And they're no, curious about fixed counts. indexed annuities. He's at the what compound. What are the advantages? He's at so the compound. It's a beautiful compound. Fixed indexed annuities. annuities. So that's one the of their ads. Oh, according to this post, this is good. Obama. Probably one of the most hated men in the Quit country the at, the at a time. And the right? Fed also yeah. Not by the not by general so public, but by conservatives. By Kavanaugh. By Kavanaugh too. According to this, Brock 
Obama faced 30 death threats a day, <laughs> stretching the U.S. Secret Service. So, I mean, we crushed that. <laughs> Did we crush the president <laughs> on terms of death? Well, I think we got the Guinness World Record. 20 a second is so funny. We got it. We, it's we so got, funny. Or 20 per minute. Mm -hmm. 20 yeah. per minute. Wow. Dude, you only get 30 in a day? My boy Ryan gets that in a minute. <laughs> so good. First so banks don't experience. need to keep any funds on hand. This means banks are... All right, come on. Banks are going anything, liquid. Uh, real critical in the back half of this? Let me see. Oh, wait, back hold on. Mike, hey, it's Mike. Hey. Hey. Go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code. Yeah, they, uh, uh, let me look at the time stamps. Yeah, there's, there's a highlighted one, but I wanted you to take first. I like this one where she compares it to the Soviet Union. Yeah, that one's good too. Oh, that com that's coming up right after this. So hold on, let me just watch that and then I'll... Code ...to get your limited edition 20th anniversary MyPillow queen size. All right. Retails for $69.98, now only $19.98. That's right, get a queen $70 size MyPillow for only 20? $19.98. That shit must suck. From all of us here at MyPillow... <laughs> Got it. I want another call. I know. <laughs> I miss him. I miss him too. All right, buckle up, mm -hmm. buckos. So as bad as this sounds for one person who has been through this trajectory of hell, of uh, personal, you know, yeah, what vilification that is publicly available to anyone who wants to look it up, and then there's no recourse in terms of trying to rectify it or fix it or get the actual proper facts out there. Right. The zoomed out bigger problem and implication and not for nothing, but this is the story of, you know, Stalinist Soviet Union yep. and how they rewrote history. Mm. It took look at one Ryan, generation look, to look, do it. Look at this motherfucker this agreeing is, along. Um, <laughs> alarming because mm. if oh, there's God. if there's no system of checks and balances there's no, it's lawless. You're talking about the Wild West here. Wikipedia is not the to government. what agency do... It's, well... What agency do they report to? <laughs> We're talking about Wikipedia editors! Listen, Dan, to, to Ryan Kavanaugh, they're like Jedi. Like, they're, you know what I mean? They're above the law. They can do whatever. Yeah. What there's no one that can tame it's them. It's big business. I like they're for big government that regulates Wikipedia. Kev, Kev's like, if there's, finally if there's someone taking this serious. no <laughs> system of checks like, and There's balances. just my favorite part here. System of checks and one generation to look it up, and then there's no recourse in terms His face of when she trying to Soviet rectify it or fix it or get the Russia. actual like, proper gotta look that up later. out there. <laughs> the zoomed out bigger problem and implication, and not for nothing, but this is the story of God, you know dead right here, Stalinist size. Soviet Union and how they rewrote history. It yeah. took one generation to do just it. Just like, this just is... like so Stalin Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah. that hit home yeah. for him. He felt that. Yeah, yeah. he's like, Finally. yeah. This is the part, Dan. I was talking about earlier. I was watching this in two times speed and just looking at Ryan. He looks so unwell. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look. He, yeah. Vladimir Putin. Uh, this part, yeah, this was funny. The, he he's turning into like King Star, where whenever he mentions me, he has to bring out the greatest hits to try to like prove to people that I'm. A terrible person, and he's awesome. He can do this to me, and this is some YouTube blogger who just happens to have a following. That blogger literally is a professional troll. I, 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 when I say professional troll, I mean he has had numerous episodes where he's gotten on and he said, "I like the words," and he says the N word <laughs> and the F word, and he says that I can't be canceled. Watch, and he said, "What? What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, Team Star." The N word. <laughs> The n-word effort, n-word effort. He says it over and over. He's like, I just love how it rolls off my tongue. Um, I did say he that part. Said he wanted Ben Shapiro to be the next in the gas chambers. Okay, well that is missing okay, that's some missing crucial a lot context. Of context that, that is missing a lot of context. An enormous amount of context. The fact that I'm Israeli, Jewish, uh, have anything to, maybe interesting to disclose? Death um, to the Jews. Death to Israel. Just yeah. I mean, he, if anyone's anti-Semitic, it's Ben Shapiro. Play death to the Jews. Death to Israel. Exactly. <laughs> Play the whole thing, dude. It's way too good. Allahu Akbar. Death to America. Death to the Jews. Death to Israel. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's all he does. And, and yet he's still platformed. And of all things, he's able to control the narrative of people. So if Whoa. he's able to control the narrative of people, and Whoa. if it costs me now millions of dollars, which it has. I don't know how the fuck you spent millions of dollars. I guess if you're hiring armies of PIs to stock communes maybe i don't mm. know i don't know how you spend that much money on this <laughs> to where I'm 
<laughs> if you have, if you're bringing together think tanks of the brightest Wikipedia minds, I guess you can spend a lot of money. Yeah. And to be able to get just things removed. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the page back to totally accurate, but at least where he's not having his paid editors, um, Papaki and throat, <laughs> not only change it every day, but, and Sarah, um, uh, I'll, I guess gonna... he, he tries again to dox her, but he's too dumb. <laughs> and attack people who are just trying to create fact on Wikipedia, which is what it was supposed to be created for. Imagine when you have political power and political money, and kind of, all right. No, this is good. Oh, oh it is. Yeah. An unlimited arsenal of people to upvote, as he would say, and create your own narrative. You can destroy a political opponent. You can destroy an entire party. You can rewrite history completely. Bro, I'm just doing like a silly comedy show. <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know what I mean? It's not not that serious. They were the last and line of defense. It's, it's, right. It's a person right, who studied true. political science, and when I was in college, the Cold War was really what we studied. <laughs> it's literally the playbook. Uh, you bring up Stalin, it's the playbook of Hitler and Stalin. Dude, and wow, Hitler. you're just like Hitler and, and Stalin. Bro, it's a Wikipedia page that I don't have anything to do with. And now we're talking about Nazis? The Nazi playbook? Yeah. The last timestamp said 56, 23. Where she tells him, you yeah. gotta wrap it up? Yeah, yeah wrap it good. up. Yeah, here it is. Wait. Yep. I just noticed something interesting. Go back to the to the episode. Mm-hmm. Tech. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at his uh, lower third, his uh, title card. Ryan Kavanaugh, filmmaker philanthropist is that supposed to he's be got an asterisk so yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait where, so where's the asterisk where's the foot no ryan <laughs> podcast failure yeah the podcast yeah, is not podcast out by the way <laughs> also financier he's is not a producer right, that's what he's he was not mad about as a producer oh my god <laughs> <laughs> ryan yeah. get out of there she's <laughs> in on it one thing he's for sure not is a filmmaker she's a plant <laughs> Dude, you know the you know the other financier that comes to mind when I hear that Jeffrey Epstein. He was a financier. <laughs> That's, That's how true. people always describe him. Well, as. and I often heard Harvey Weinstein refer financier? to as a Hollywood financier. They also misspelled financier too. <laughs> Fi financier. Oh my God, you're right. Financier. Yeah. <laughs> financier. <laughs> it's awesome. It's crazy. I mean, this I was watching this shit just <laughs> flabbergasted. It's nuts that he's doing all these interviews and stuff. Yo, oh, need I, some, you, you guys know, need some uh, editors, dude. That that uh, that asterisk was there on another card. Oh, so it's, it's just a design it's just choice. Design poor, just let's make a placement. Let's put, put a little asterisk, right, yeah. Big asterisk let's right put an asterisk where it make it look like he's lying about being a philanthropist. All right, here's the end of it, which is good times. <laughs> Somebody um, in the chat said that's Sarah. She's Sarah. No, <laughs> that's what Pokey. The threat was. <laughs> I mean, in his mind, I am that level of mastermind right. genius. You know. In fact, yes, that is her. Ryan. Actually, that's me. Ryan. It's Olivia. That's actually Olivia. I interview in makeup. you. We're in your walls, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Really, a, a process of which um, not fact-checking is done, not um, Wait, is this stories the end, maybe? Of, of opinion? Yeah. She cuts them off. But where the rewriting of history, the yeah. rewriting of history. Yeah, you is said done. it six times. Yeah, yeah. we are out of time. God, you're so <laughs> We're out of time, and I think <laughs> he looks so upset. We got the music playing this song. How are you out of time? I mean, <laughs> you're doing an internet show. There's no. What do you mean you're out of time? Look at his face, dude. He's so, so sad. Of uh, uh, opinion, or I that. just liked having but somebody where, to talk to. The rewriting of history. The rewriting of history <laughs> is done. Yeah. We are out of time. <laughs> We're out of time, and I thank you so much, Ryan, for being <laughs> oh, with us again. He, he just had a flashback to like high school and middle yeah. school. Shut down. We got the music playing. He, so. he heard the bullhorns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, that's funny. So there's poor Ryan Kavanaugh. He's been through hell. <sighs> wow. There's so many great moments. I mean, like, let's see. We we gotta go. Over, yeah, uh, yeah. We're over the four hour mark. Yeah. We are? Shit. Yes. Okay. All right. And it's five thirty. So I guess tune in on Friday for some failure podcast. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know what to do. He's he the Lord provideth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. My the, my cup overfilleth. Mm -hmm. yeah, this was just true. an appetizer. Yeah.